Good morning, people. Watch from 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day according to Scripture. We're saved by grace, through faith, in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works. Again, not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn and something we don't deserve. That God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. Once you come to the end of yourself and accept Christ as Savior and admit you're a sinner in need of a Savior and there's only one that's Jesus Christ. You accept him as Savior. Your faith and trust is in him and what he did in his blood. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will at that point seal you until the day of redemption, which means you will not lose your salvation, period. You are sealed. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you. The Holy Spirit is your best friend. The Holy Spirit will change you. That's the simple gospel right there. It's not about what we can do. It's not about what we've done. It's not about what you do every day. It's about believing in the finished work of Jesus Christ and what he accomplished at the cross for your past, present, and future sins. Without that, without faith, it's impossible to please God. We walk by faith, not by sight, not by feeling. We walk by faith. I got to give you this article. Someone sent this to me, a friend of mine in Texas told me about this last night. Now, God is trying to wake people up. And he's doing it in ways we never thought would happen. There was a meteor. And I didn't hear about this until she pointed this out to me. She, When she told me this, I was like, what? A meteor exploded over Pittsburgh on New Year's Eve. Friday night. They said this meteor was as powerful as 30 tons of TNT. So NASA has confirmed that the earth shattering boom felt in Pittsburgh on New Year's. They said it was New Year's Day. So it had to have been somewhere around New Year's Eve going into New Year's Day was a meteor which exploded with an energy blast equivalent to 30 Tons of TNT. That would have scared the living daylights out of me. According to the New York, um, the NYP, the space agency said a uh, bolide, an extremely bright meteor that explodes in the atmosphere, was responsible for the loud boom that shook the entire area. A nearby infrasound station registered the blast wave from the meteor as it broke apart. The data enabled an estimate of the energy at 30 tons of TNT. If we make a reasonable assumption as as to the meteor's speed, 45,000 miles per hour. We can ballpark the object size at about a yard in diameter with a mass close to half a ton, it said. Had it not been cloudy, the fireball would have been easily visible in the daylight sky. Crude estimate indicates about a hundred times the brightness of, of the full moon. Like I said, God is trying to wake people up. But it's not working with a lot of people. And that's unfortunate. Uh, According to The Hill, one day prior, a mysterious boom reverberated through suburban Pittsburgh, sending what some described as a shock wave through the Western Pennsylvania neighborhood. Now we in Ohio, cause 
of course, Ohio's right next door to Pennsylvania. We had an earthquake, but it was over the weekend, I believe. And it didn't register that much, but it was it was rare that we have earthquakes here. This one happened over the weekend, and it was close to a three. I do believe. But this described as, as a shock wave through the western Pennsylvania neighborhood. Community members and local officials were immediately on the hunt for answers as the blast that rattled homes was not accompanied by seismic activity. And that's correct. Didn't get no, no earthquake indication in PA. But again, we got one in Ohio. Now, I don't know whether one came in Ohio um, that day, but I know we got one over the weekend. I think it was the weekend. Yeah, it was the weekend. One resident, um, or they thought it was inclement weather, too. One resident tweeted footage from his at-home security camera, which captured the sound. Another video posted on Facebook showed fish in the backyard, in the backyard uh, pond, jumping as they felt the blast vibration. No discernible sound, wrote the person who uploaded the, uh, the video. But something spooked them, traveling at the speed of sound. So how can I describe this? I don't know whether any of you have been to the air show. Sometimes in Ohio, we have the air show. I haven't been there. I've been to the air show before, but it's been a while. There was a, I forgot the name of the plane, but it went right past us and we did not hear the sound for a few seconds. So it was traveling at the speed of sound. That's all I can explain it. That's how I explain it. But something spooked them, the fish in the pond. The National Weather Service on Saturday evening said the sound may have been a meteor explosion. No confirmation, but this is the most likely explanation at this time. So I'm going to link this article in the description box. Folks, I'm going to be honest with you. This is a wake-up call for everybody. God is trying um, to get the attention of people. And very few people are listening. Listening for the sound. This is one way he's trying to do it. I got a feeling that these are going to follow. It's going to be a lot more of this happening. This is just the beginning. And it's funny that it happened on New Year's. Talk about bringing in the New Year with a bang. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's trying to wake people up. This was not a coincidence. Not at all. Not at all. When she told me this, I said... This is not a coincidence. This is really strange. And God is trying to say something. Wake up. I'm going to link this in the description box. I will be back with the next video. Um, I have some things on my blog that are strange and that are, that are probably going to tick you off. Especially with Chicago going uh, remote again. So I'll be back with the next video. Thank you. Oh, and by the way, I do pray for you guys. I want you, I, I have to remind you of this because God gives the increase. And without you, I wouldn't be here. So God gives the increase. He gave me a platform with you guys. And I thank you. And I love you, and I'll be back later. Thank you.